Right then, here we are everyone. <sighs> Piney Sights. The cows are right over. We've timed that well. The goats are even further over. And, uh, yeah, there's the cows. Just a very small video. The cows are over there. So they've moved. They were ahead of me. The goats are further down. There's a group of goats. And when the cows go in, the goats sort of take over all this patch. Um, yeah, so here we are. The famous Piney Slights Farm again. A week ago I was here and the sky was grey, it was windy. Uh, I had to make a decision by the time I got down um, the bottom of Piney Sites Farm driveway. I had to make a decision whether to go left or right. And it might have still been a bit like this, but maybe a bit windier. And I had shorts on. I had lighter clothes on. And lighter shoes, everything. But I did bring the umbrella. Now, the only thing I didn't bring today was the waterproof trousers, which are always always handy to have, actually, um, because they, they act as um, a windbreak. But, of course, you know, um, I'm trying to keep cutting down on what I carry. But as winter progresses and colder, you know, those sort of things will start put, being put in the, in the uh, bag. And, I mean, today I've got less water. Um, and my bag was much heavier last week, really heavy. I mean, I had another bottle of water I had um, on my umbrella. You'd be surprised. I just, you think, oh, an umbrella. No, on that zone, they don't. You put everything together in your bag, weighs a four, weighs a flipping ton. So here we've got the little style which I climbed Clubbing. over in front of everyone last week. I mean, the walk I'm doing today when I go across the top, I normally do in the summer to be quite honest, when it's really hot. Uh, but, and I could have done it this year, but I started to decide that walking in that heat might not be a good idea because it was very hot. Um, so I decided to not do that. But I know I've got to get it done because what it is... Um, the buses could change, they could be taken off. We might not be allowed on them, it might just be for workers. Um, the times, it's getting darker, right? Um, it'd be October in two days time. And in October, later on, uh, the clocks go back or forward. And we lose an hour, or we gain, I'll never remember which. But basically, it gets darker earlier and earlier and earlier last week when I was walking it was the first day of autumn so each week we lose quarter of an hour of sunlight so I do know that time's limited now when I had my van I could come out here when I wanted I didn't have to depend on a bus there was no rush, and and that's the only difference with being dependent on a bus is will they let me on, and will I get back in time? You know, because I always say when I get to the top of the the way down there, I got to allow an hour really. Um, I have done it in half an hour, but I've had to run. And I'm not doing any of that. Anyway, here's our lovely cows. They could, when I come back, they could be close, but I've got other plans when that happens. So they're there. And they're not sat down this week. So that's a good sign. So anyway, I'll be passing through Pioneer Sites Farm. I'm not going to talk much more now because I videoed this walk, this exact walk, a week ago. But it will, it won't be the same conversation exactly. 
Over and out. These horses, I've just been taking pictures of them and they decided to walk along beside me, look. And they're beautiful though. Aren't you beautiful, hey? Because you could jump over the fence if you wanted, couldn't you? It'd be scary if you did that though. I would be scared. You could jump this fence easy. Hey? Don't you try it. <laughs> You're walking out of food for me. Yeah, you're lovely, darling. I've got you on video. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, you are naughty. Trying to break, break the fence. Yes, you are. You trying to get out? You want to come for a walk with me up on the top? You want to come for a walk on the top? Yeah? Who's that coming? Oh, you are so beautiful. So intelligent. Look at them. And I'm not getting too close, baby, because I'm, I've am i got to be careful. I don't know if you might bite me. Would you bite me, horsey? Hey? Yeah, you're beautiful. I'm going on then. Come in. Come on in. Come on. All right, I've got to... Right, so I'm having a little walk along this track with the horses. I've, not, I've never seen them in this field. I've seen them the other day in the distance. But I've actually seen them walking up like this. They're beautiful. They spotted me as soon as they see me. There's a lovely view of the... All the um, straw hay or whatever it is rolled up. Ready for the winter. That cloud looks a bit menacing. And we've got some... Robert Warren over there. The horses decided to follow me up the field. And I'm and the decision this week is I'm moving left. I'm moving left. And the horses are following me. And they're beautiful. Look at them. We're having a lovely walk together, aren't we? Eh? I expect you to go out with people, don't you, on a nice ride? Yes, you do. You're cheeky, though. Yes, you are. You're cheeky. Oh! I'll see you again. I might see you later on the way back. I'll see you later on the way back, horses. I'll see you later, Sheila. Yeah? i got to go for a walk. I used to ride horses, you know. Yeah, I bet that one there, he says, oh, I could jump that. Don't though, will you? Don't do anything foolish. Over and out. Right, I'm saying goodbye to the horses. There's the sheep, they're back in the field, and they weren't in there a week ago. They were not in there a week ago. I don't know where they were, they might have been in there. They're back over there. I told the horses I might see them later. There's a horse on his own over there with a coat on. We're going to check the time out. It's a nasty big cloud up there. Maybe that one's waiting for three o'clock to do something. It's half eleven now. Easy jet up there. They're not sure if they're going to survive the COVID thing. So I'm just doing a little bit. I'll join this on to the horses video that I did a minute ago. Bye, horses! Bye! They're so intelligent. I didn't get too close because you never know if they would, could bite. I mean, you just don't know, do you? So that's a new, new horses to greet. Beautiful horses, mind. They're proper. Imagine someone... I mean, I used to ride horses that big, you know, when I, when I was a young teenager, when I was down in Devon living. Yeah, I used to go out every weekend mucking at the stables to get me free two-hour ride on a Sunday on Dartmoor. I got thrown off quite a few times.
<laughs> no fair than those days, those are. No fair. Used to brush them, learn all about horses and saddles and all sorts of things. Went on a hunt once, we tried. I was on a horse for eight hours, I'll tell you. I've never forgotten that. Because afterwards I had to walk back three miles and no one gave me a lift. People are so weird in them days. Uh, anyway, um, that was a long time ago. That was, uh, let me see what year that was. That was 68, 69 when I got into that. And then uh, once I left there, I never really did it again. But um, I think I've had a couple of rides. I'd, when I went to Cumberland, yeah, I, w I went on a horse called Heather up there. God, yeah, that was good. It was good. I really need to phone some of these old friends of mine. I've recently been contacted via Facebook from a person I haven't seen for about 45 years. Actually, we've only just, she's been trying to find me for 40. <sighs> anyway, here we go then. We've turned left instead of right. That was the easier route, wasn't it? That was the easier route. I'm not going towards, uh, I'm not going in Road Barrow. I'm not doing the hill fort or anything. Those are short walks that I'll be doing in the winter. When winter comes, or less light hours, I uh, do shorter walks. Um, but which means like roaming all around Row Barrow Warren, for example, and then getting the bus back from from Sanford and things like that. Or going over that side of Cheddar Gorge when all the cows have gone in. Um, my winter walks. Once again, I don't really go out when it's raining. Um, or fierce winds. No, I don't. I don't. It, you can't video. Right, so we're on the route now, so that's a decision made. I mean, there's nothing to stop me saying to myself, don't bother with that, go through Road Barrow and back and get some bus from Stanford. There's nothing to stop me changing my mind if I get a bit anxious. Because if the weather has already, that big cloud there is a menacing looking cloud. That's the only one, that big one there, and it's going to block the sun out in a minute. There is rain clouds, they're up high. Um, all the nastiness is coming tomorrow. But of course I haven't brought my umbrella or any waterproofs. So if that decides to burst now, I've had it. It could have one sort of freaky downpour, couldn't it? If you know what I mean. Right then, let's turn off now. Over and out.